this is Jen from Internet Lessons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a contact form on your Contact Me or Contact Us page. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to embed a Google Map, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is on the same page, I'm going to create um, a contact form. And I'm going to be using Google again for this because it has a form function. And what I particularly like about this form function is it also records the results in a spreadsheet. The first thing you need to do is sign in to your Google account and then go to Drive. Once you're in Drive, you come over to Create and from the drop down list, select Form. This is where you design the form that you want to use on your web page. So I'm going to call this contact me. And then I'm going to put my first question in. So my first question is going to be um, name. So I want to collect the person's name who is um, leaving their details on my website. And then I'm going to make this a required question, which means they have to answer it and then click done. Now they provide you with this sample question which I don't seem to ever want to use so if you come across to the right hand side and click delete that will get rid of that one. Then we want to add a new item and we'll go for text again and this time we're going to ask for email address and we're going to make that a required question as well so we can contact them. Done. And then one more just because I think it'd be useful to have a look at the multiple choice options. You can have hair length, because obviously this is for a hairdresser. So um, a multiple choice, and option one is going to be short. Um, then I'm going to have mid length, and then I'm going to have long. So you can see why they have which options they've got to choose from. You can make this required question if you want to, but in this case, I'm going to choose not to do that. So I'm going to click done there. And if you want to, you can change the theme of your contact form. So if you click on theme, as you can see, there's lots of different themes to choose from. So you can have the one, the plain one, or if you want to have something a little bit more fancy, then you could um, choose one of, from one of these options that are on here. So let me just pick one just to show how it looks. So let's go for this one, quite like look at that one. So I'll click on that one, and as you can see, I have now got a contact form. Now that doesn't actually work for my website, so I'm not going to I'm not going to apply it. I'm just going to cancel that. So let's go back to our editing. So that's our form basically completed now. So all I'm going to be left to do is to embed it on my website. You can, if you click here where it says see responses, you can see a summary of the responses you've had, or you can have all the responses in a spreadsheet. So if you're collecting information from your website, you can go back and have a look at the information that has been, con has been collected on it. Right, so all I need to do now is go to More Actions and Embed. So I take this piece of HTML, so I'm putting Control c on my keyboard, and I can come across to my website, Insert HTML Fragment, and I'm going to put it, paste the body, OK. I might have to move it down a bit because I've got quite a big map. So actually, I might move my map. This is my map, which I showed you at the beginning. I'm going to move that to the bottom and put my contact form at the top, like that. Okay, so let's go to File, Preview Site, and we can go and have a look to see how, how it shows in... Oh dear, right, that's a bit wide, isn't it? So we just need to go and make some adjustments to that. In order to alter the size of our form, we need to double click on the HTML code fragment 
and then have a look for where it says iframe src and move across to the right where you will see the dimensions of the frame so as you can see it's 760 by 808 which is quite large really for this site so what I'm going to do is I'll start by changing the width and I'm going to make this 500 and I'm going to put OK and let's have a little look to see how that looks so Alt 2 to preview the page in Chrome let's have a look, ah well that's a bit better so I think we can probably move it over to the left a little bit and it is a little bit long still so we'll move it over to the left and we'll shorten it so I think we'll try 500 so let's close that down a minute come back to our let's close these down come back to our page double click again and we're going to choose the length this time and let's see if we can make that 500 as well okay and let's go to alt 2 again to preview it so let's see how long that is so that's not too bad obviously I've still got a bit of a problem where whereas my map is squished on the bottom we could probably make this a little bit smaller to be honest with you so I will just quickly show you what happens if you do make it smaller so let's change the height again and let's make it 400 you may or may not want to do this so let me show you what it looks like let's preview again so now because I've shortened it quite a lot I've actually got a scroll bar but you can see the advantage though of having a scrollable contact form so if there's lots and lots of questions you want to put on but you don't want it to make the page too large you have the option to shrink your contact form down and it will automatically generate a scroll bar on it now in the same way obviously my maps now a little bit too big as well um, in the same way as we've just altered the form we can actually change our map so this fragment is the map that I'm in now so let's go over to the left and I think we'll make the width what width is it now let's find it must be here somewhere Oops, I passed it. So at the moment it's 425 and 350. So why don't we make that 200 and 200? Okay. And I'm going to move this over a little bit as well because I think it was quite a lot of space. For that. Obviously, you can take a bit more time than I am to get things the right size. So Control Alt 2. Not, sorry, just Alt 2, and there we have got a very diddy map now and a form. So as you can see, you don't actually have to go back to Google to alter the size of your form. You can actually do it in the fragment itself. But this is basically a way of creating a custom-made form which generates its results as a spreadsheet. When people have completed your form on your website, they will get... A notification that it has been submitted successfully if you come to more actions and click here on edit confirmation you can see that this is the response that will be given to your client your customer when the form has been completed so you can alter this if you wish to thank you for your interest and then save so when we test the contact form, so we go back to contact me here, if I type in my name, okay, and add my email address, I'm going to pick a, a length as well and click submit, you will see there is a response that has been recorded. We should be able to go back now 
two responses and the spreadsheet. And there you are. You can see that my response has been recorded in this website on the spreadsheet for you. So you can go and keep track of who has entered information into your form. Once you've created your spreadsheet, you can actually download it in other forms. If you go to File, Download, as you can see, it can be downloaded into Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice if you don't have uh, Microsoft Office Suite on your computer. So it then could be used further if it was the right sort of fields, of course, into mail merges or into other sorts of mailing lists. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.